Okay, here I'm going to walk through number 24. Um, I just went through the other one. Um, this one's got a little bit more um, like technical detail um, than uh, number 10, but uh, let's just rock right into it. Um, first step, same as the last one, I need to normalize this thing. So I divide by x squared plus 4. That gives me um, y prime uh, plus 3x over x squared plus 4. Is that supposed to be? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, um, times y equals x over x squared plus 4. Um, from here, um, this is my p of x. So I need to do uh, mu equals e to the integral of p of x dx which is e to the integral of, um, actually, what I'm going to do, we did a little bit of this um, last year or the year before, depending on which class you came from last year, but um, I'm going to write my x squared plus 4 down here. I'm going to write the x, that's this piece, but then this piece right here, I'm going to put it out front um, because it doesn't fit the u sub. So I'm going to write a 3. And now what I'm going to do is put the u sub, the du for the bottom, up here. Notice I got x squared plus 4. What would I need to do? I would need to change that to a 2. And how do I balance that? By putting an over 2 in the front. We did a lot of that when we did um, some arctans. Um, but um, you could also use u sub to do this as well. Um, but when I'm doing it all in one line and a lot of other steps all at once, if I have little tricks like that, I'll do it. So that gives me um, e uh, to the 3 halves, and then I get um, ln of uh, x squared plus 4. Now, um, just like with many of these, the ln and the e, we want them to cancel, but the 3 halves is in the way. Fortunately, I can plug it in. Um, so that gives me um, e to the ln of x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves, which then these two cancel each other out, and that gives me just the x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves. So that's my mu. Um, all right, so now what I need to do is multiply that um, onto all the terms of this equation right here. So I get... Um, x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves y prime. Now I'm going to do the exponent work here a little bit quicker um, uh, because uh, there's a lot of other details that we got to get to. But I, I'm left with um, a, let's see, a 3 um, Hold on. Okay. The colors up here got me for a moment. But yes, I'm left with a um, 3, and then I get x squared plus 4 to the half power times y. Now let me verify that all oh, that's right. This guy has the mu on it, and then here this 3 comes from that 3. Oh, I left an x off, did I? Yes. Okay, so see what I did there? I, I, you know, I forgot something, but I'm double checking it as I go along, right? So this three is that three, this x is that x, this x squared plus four to the first power in the denominator divided into this to give me just a half power in the top, um, and then that is equal to um, x times. Uh, I get the same cancellation here. This guy's got x squared plus four in the denominator, so when I uh, multiply it by this in the top. I get um, x squared plus 4 to the half power. Now, you could write that as roots, but remember, we're trying to integrate, so it's easier to have those as um, fractions or numbers so we can do power rule. Okay, so next step is to check that all of the um, derivatives line up. So this derives to that. question is, does this derive to that? Well, um, this 3 
gives us that three. The, the half in the half when I do my uh, power rule gets multiplied by the two in the two x and they cancel each other out. And then I get the x, so the three makes sense, the x makes sense, and then three halves, if I power rule that down, I get a half. So yes, this does make sense, it works. You could take the derivative of this, and if you did it correctly, you would get this thing here. So um, uh, that tells me that I've done this right, and I can write um, x squared plus four to the three halves times y prime equals, um, and I'm just gonna write, boom, boom, copy that. That's fine if you wanna do that. Um, now what I'm going to do is do some work for all of this stuff. That's going to be the U. You, if you can do this without U sub, that's totally fine. But I'm going to do it with U sub. So um, I got U equals X squared plus 4. DU is 2X. So I should, maybe I should be a little bit more clear. What I'm doing right now is trying to find the integral of this. Because the left side is really easy to integrate. I'm just going to get what's inside of these parentheses here. So the right side, I'm going to have to do some u sub to do that integral. So that's what I'm doing right now. So notice I've got this right here, right? So I got to um, get rid of the two on the two x. So um, half du is x, and now I can sub all that stuff in. Um, let's see, this is this, and um, this is that. So when I do that sub, which you should be good at, um, I get half the integral of u to the half du. That's what I'm trying to calculate over here on this right side. So when I do power rule on that, I get u to the 3 halves um, plus c, which um, is going to have the half here. But then I need to um, multiply by the reciprocal of this up here. So I get times 2 over 3. And those cancel. Um, so what I get, I integrate and I integrate. That gives me um, x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves times y equals. Now I'm going to write this plus the c, but I'm not going to write u. I'm going to write this thing that's highlighted in green, the x squared plus 4. So I get, um, oops, let me put my one third in there. One third. Um, u is x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves um, plus a constant. Um, so now this point, uh, you could keep going if you want from here, but I think you know, we got C right there, and I know, I remember that this is an initial value up here. So Y of 0 is 1. Maybe I'll write that. Uh, let's write it right here. Y of 0 is 1. So I'm going to solve for my C now. So um, this is X. This is Y. So notice, anytime I have an X, it's going to be 0. So, so this little parenthesis right here, that X squared is just going to go to 0. So I'm going to have 4 to the 3 halves. 4 to the 3 halves times y is 1 equals 1 third times, again, 4, oops, 4 to the 3 halves plus c. Now, 4 to the 3 halves means take 4, square root it, then cube it. So that's the same as 2 cubed, which gives us 8. So this left side is 8 equals 8 thirds plus c. So that gives me, um, come over here, that c is 8 minus 8 over 3, which gives us 16 over 3. So I can now plug that down here in for c. Uh, so that gives me x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves times y is equal to 1 third x squared plus 4 to the 3 halves again um, plus uh, 16 over 3. So now this is a spot where this one actually works out like really nicely. And this happens like, I don't know, moderately often with these um, 
with these mu problems, especially when we get into applications. Um, but I need to divide by this guy. That's going to cancel with that this guy in this term. And then it's just going to be here, but as a negative exponent. So when I divide by that, I get y is equal to what's left when I divide here. Well, I'm just left with the 1 third. So I get 1 third plus I get 16 over 3 times um, x squared plus 4 to the negative 3 halves. Um, you could totally, if you want, write this in a different form. You could write it as um, the 3 halves down in the bottom of this denominator with a 3. You could use square roots and cubes. Um, I'll take any of those answers as long as they're like numerically correct, right? And not like uh, just, you know, crazily unsimplified or however you want to put it. Um, but this is our answer for this one. Um, and I, I just hope that you're seeing that um, this is... Um, it's got some technical stuff, right? You got to be careful with your exponents. I think that's the thing the most. You have to be really careful about what you do. Like I almost missed that three for a moment, right? Or I almost missed that X. I forget what it was, right? Or you got to be really careful. Make sure you do three halves and not two thirds, right? Um, be careful with your U sub, right? There's lots of places where you can make little errors. I think y'all are doing a good job of um, understanding the big picture. Um, but just be really careful as you're going through those steps and take those checks that you can get when you, or checks when they when they show up. Do, do these derivatives line up? Figure that out for yourself, right? Check that. Um, um, anyway, here's the answer, and uh, I hope that helps out uh, a whole bunch. Thank you.